Hi you guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. Right now it is 7.15 a.m. Today we're doing a like get my life back on track vlog because I have just been so all over the place recently. I feel like there's been a lot going on in my personal life and I feel like my health is just one of those things that has kind of been like put to the back burner. So we're gonna be getting back on track today. I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I do that, how I do like a mini like reset routine for like my health and my fitness and exercise and everything like that. So. That's the plan for today. I just made some espresso with my new espresso machine. I'm so excited to have this. I've been wanting an espresso machine for the longest time. I also grabbed some of these mini little like espresso cups off of Amazon as well. So I'll have those linked down below if you guys do wanna check it out. Anyway, so plan for right now is I'm gonna go ahead and drink my espresso. I'm gonna do my five minute journal and then I'm gonna make a to-do list of everything that I kinda wanna get done today and plan out my day. So before we do that, if you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe down below. I'd love to have you guys join my family. Also, I'm wearing this like really cute set. It's kind of like a dupe for the skim set. Um, it's like a really cozy, like fleecy loungewear set that's also from Amazon and it's a lot more affordable than the Skims. So I'll also link that below if you guys wanna check it out. But let's go ahead and get started with our day. Okay, I figured we would sit in front of the fireplace cause it is like such a cold, cozy morning and I'm loving like all the cold weather vibes. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Thank you, you're very sweet. I'm gonna have some of my espresso. It's probably not for you. Enough for you. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is my five minute journal. I try to do this every single morning. If you guys have never heard of the five minute journal, it's a gratitude journal. So it just kind of asks you like what you're grateful for, what would make today great, and then your daily affirmations, and it gives you a little quote. Today's quote is you and only you are ultimately responsible for who you become and how happy you are. Hey, baby girl. Okay, apparently both my dogs are coming to say hi this morning. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my five minute journal with everything that I'm grateful for, what would make today great, my affirmations, all that good stuff okay today is november 16th i can't believe we're already like halfway through november that's so crazy we're almost into 2022 okay three things that i'm grateful for i really like this because you can write down like the littlest things like one of my things that i'm writing down is i'm grateful for my espresso it doesn't have to be big things it doesn't have to be like life-changing things that you're grateful for it can be literally like any little thing that you're grateful for that you appreciate in the moment and i like doing that because it just makes you think about how much you genuinely appreciate like the little things so i'm writing down my espresso because i'm very excited for my espresso and i love it i am really thankful for quiet mornings at home i'm very thankful that i have my job that i can like work from home and kind of like wake up at my own pace and i don't have to like get up and quickly like rush out of the house into like the cold and i can just like stay at home and be cozy while i'm working so i'm very thankful for that that is something i think i write down every single day is that i'm very thankful for like cozy quiet mornings at home um, because I love those so much. Okay, and then my third thing that I'm thankful for is my assistant, Megan. She makes my life so much easier and I'm so thankful that I have her. What would make today great is if I filmed this vlog. Okay, now that my five minute journal is done, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to planning my day. I love these planners by the brand Push Journal. If you guys have never heard me talk about these before, they're amazing. I'll link them below so you guys can check them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just brain dump like everything that I need to do today and then kind of like write out my schedule of what I wanna do and then make a quick plan for the day and then I'll kind of show you guys what all we're gonna be doing. Okay, planning is all done for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my espresso and then I need to do my workout for the day. I've been working out with Copilot. You guys probably, if you've watched my channel for a while, remember them as Delta Trainer. They recently rebranded, but I have a full body workout with my trainer today. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish drinking this and then I'm gonna get dressed for my workout. Okay, just finished my coffee and I'm now in my little workout room in my house and I'm about to do my workout for the day. But before I do my workout, I wanted to show you guys some pieces that I got in from Gymshark. I'm actually working with them on today's video. So thank you so much Gymshark for sponsoring. I'm wearing one of their super cute sets right now. I'll show you guys everything that I got in just a second. But I did wanna let you guys know that they're actually having a Black Friday sale coming up really soon. The sale's gonna go live on Thursday, November 18th. And it's gonna go live at 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time, and then 7 p.m. GMT. So definitely make sure that you guys check that out and take advantage of it. They're gonna be having up to 70% off selected styles. So they're gonna have a bunch of really great stuff. So I'll go ahead and show you guys everything that I picked up. Okay, so this is the first set that I picked up. It just has the sports bra 
and then it also comes with leggings. These leggings fit so well and everything is like very flattering on. These leggings are completely squat proof. I definitely checked. Like I said, they fit really well. They completely like snatch your waist. They stay up when you're working out. And then this is the sports bra. It's really cute. It has a really pretty back on it. And then I also picked up a matching like little long sleeve to go with it. These tops are great because I don't have to wear sports bras with them. If you are a little bit bigger chested, you might have to. Um, I'm probably about like a B or a C cup and I personally don't have to. So this is another really great option to like add to the matching set if you don't want to like just wear a sports bra or if it's a little bit colder outside and you want to have a long sleeve on. Um, and then again, I got this one in a size extra small. Next thing I grabbed is just this little crop white tank and then just has like the Gymshark on the bottom here. I love these types of shirts for whenever I don't want to wear like a sports bra, but I do want like a little bit more coverage. I feel like cropped little tees are so great. Um, this one I got in a size small and it fits really well. And then I also got another one of these little crop tees in black and then this one is also a size small. And then of course me being me, I had to grab like a cozy oversized sweatshirt. I just got this one in white. I got this one in a size large because I didn't know how oversized it would be and definitely just get true to size because it's already super oversized so this one's like really big on me. But it's still super cozy regardless. The material is amazing. It's really nice and comfortable. So, but with this one definitely, definitely just get true to size. If I were to get it again, I would definitely just get a size small. Okay, and then the last thing I've got is this little kind of like quarter zip crop. I really like it because it hits at a really great length. So it's not too short, it's not too long. And you can honestly even like tuck up this little like cinched in part to make it a little bit more cropped. But I really like it. It's a really great like cozy long sleeve material. And it even has like a little pocket here in the middle. So again, this would be perfect for like a warm up or something like that. And then this one I just got in a size small. So if you guys wanna check out any of these pieces that I showed you, I'll have everything linked down below so you guys can go shop that. And definitely make sure that you guys take advantage of the Gymshark's Black Friday sale on November 18th. Okay, just finished my workout. I'm so out of breath. That was such a good full body workout. I do have a week of workouts video coming soon. I think that's gonna go up on like November 30th, I think. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you guys are interested in seeing the workouts that I do at all, I'm gonna go ahead and go get out of these sweaty clothes. I'm gonna go shower, make some breakfast, and I'll check in with you guys right after. I also just filled up my 64 ounce water bottle. I've been so bad at drinking water, so this is gonna be another part of getting back on track is actually drinking my water. I'm really supposed to be drinking two of these a day, so that's something that I kinda wanna challenge myself with is see if I can finish two. So maybe that will be another one of my goals for today is to try to drink two of these. We'll keep you updated, but water is so important. I haven't been drinking that much water recently, and I've really been noticing like brain fog and everything like that, so. Definitely make sure to drink your water. Okay guys, just got out of the shower and I actually drove over to this little place called Edibland Cafe to grab a green smoothie for breakfast. I've been to some other locations, but I've never been to this one, so I'm excited to try it. I think that they have some food, so I'll just have to see what they have in here and might grab a few things. While I'm out, I thought I would probably go ahead and get some groceries as well because I'm out of groceries. So I think I'll probably stop by the grocery store as well and grab some stuff while I'm already out, and then I'll show you guys like everything that I get. I haven't meal planned yet. Typically, I try to like meal plan before I actually go grocery shopping, but I think I'm just gonna have to do it like a reverse this time because I didn't have time to meal plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and run in and grab some breakfast and then we'll go grocery shopping. got a few things from inside they didn't have a lot of breakfast food so I just got a little green smoothie and then kind of like a little snack because I'm gonna be out running errands and I wanted something to eat so I grabbed the sweet green blend and it's so freaking good it has kale spinach strawberries peaches pineapple banana dates and coconut water it is so yummy if you guys have an Edda blend by you highly recommend grabbing the sweet green one I also grabbed this little like hummus bowl it has like tabbouleh it has carrots it has a bunch of kale in it, it obviously has some hummus 
at the bottom. It has cucumbers. I think it has some tomatoes in there. It has just so many like yummy good things in there. I wasn't really in the mood for like a smoothie bowl or anything. So I just grabbed this because it is a little bit like later in the day and I'm going to be running some errands and stuff. So I thought I would just have like a little early lunch. Okay, just got back from the grocery store and this is everything that I got. I got just like a lot of my staples that I really like to have on hand to make a bunch of different meals with. I saw these So Good So You immunity shots and I really, really love this brand. They've sent me some stuff before and I really love their little mini shots and their juices. So I grabbed a few of those. I of course got my coffee. I got some almond milk and then I also found this Nut Pods creamer and it's a holiday nog. So I haven't tried it yet, but I'm very excited. I really like this one because it is dairy free and it doesn't have any sugar in it. And I feel like a lot of creamers just have so much sugar and it always ends up breaking me out. So I wanted to go ahead and get back on the whole Nut Pods thing so I can stop drinking so much sugar in the morning. And then I also got some broccoli. I got some spinach for my smoothies. I got some romaine lettuce because I'll probably end up making some kind of salad. I got some carrots. And then with my carrots, I also found this dairy-free dip that Target actually has. It looks so yummy and they had like a bunch of different ones as well. So I'm really excited to try that. I got some tempeh. I got some tofu. I got some quinoa. I really like these little microwavable like quinoa bags. And they have a bunch of like different flavors and little things in there. So really like those. I got a bunch of apples, some limes, avocado, garlic, some sweet potatoes to do like stuffed sweet potatoes with. And then I also got some Ezekiel bread. So that's pretty much everything that I got. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this away and then I'm gonna make my meal plan so I can kind of figure out like what meals I'm gonna make for the week and everything like that. Okay, just finished making my little meal plan. So I wanted to show you guys like how I do it and what it looks like. I know I've showed you guys before, so you guys might've seen this before, but in case you're new here, I figured I would just show you. So I make this on a website called Pick Monkey. You can really do it on anything. You can do it on like Canva if you wanted to. This is just what I did. I just have the date up here at the top and then I have Monday through Friday because on the weekends, I don't really plan out what I eat and kind of just like let myself eat whatever I'm in the mood for. And then I have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then snack. So for example, on Monday for breakfast, I'm gonna have avocado toast. Lunch is gonna be a stuffed sweet sweet potato, dinner is gonna be some vegetable soup, and then for a snack, I'm gonna have a protein shake. I really like to do this so that way I can like print it out and put it on my fridge, and then whatever day it is, if I'm kind of wondering what I want to eat or what I wanna make, I pretty much have everything already laid out and I don't have, there's like no guessing game to it because I feel like so much whenever I'm hungry, I like don't know what I wanna eat, so I just reach for snacks. So I feel like having something that's already like planned out and ready for you is just so much easier and just takes the guesswork out of it. So this is a big thing for me to get back on track is to have a nice meal plan so I know exactly what meals I'm gonna be eating and I kinda like have it all like planned out to make sure that like I'm getting my proteins, my fats, my carbs, and it's a pretty well-balanced day of eating. So that's just my meal plans and how I do that. All right, you guys, for the last part of kind of like getting back on track, one thing that's really big to me is doing my skincare. Sometimes when I'm like just off track, I'm really bad about doing my skincare before I go to bed. So I'm gonna do my skincare tonight. I just washed my face. And then I'm also gonna make sure that I'm gonna go to bed early. Right now it is 9.30 and I wanna be in bed in like 10 minutes. I've really been trying to wake up earlier because I feel like I just continually am like running out of time in my day. So I feel like waking up early will just give me some more time in my day. And I feel like I'm really not like productive in the evening right now anyways, because it's just like so dark and cozy at nighttime that I'm like, my body's naturally tired. So I just don't really want to do anything. So I've really been trying to wake up a little bit earlier. I really want to get myself on like a 5.30, 6 a.m. wake up schedule so that I can be my most productive and not have to like stress and do things at the last minute or have to worry about doing things at like eight o'clock at night whenever I'm like really tired. So, so I've definitely been working on I'm getting back on track with my sleep schedule because that is one if your sleep schedule is messed up it's just gonna mess up a whole lot for you. This stuff that I'm using, well, the stuff that I used before this was the First Day Beauty Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. I've been using this one for a very long time. Really like it, great for sensitive skin. And then right now I'm just using their Retinol Eye Cream with Triple Hyaluronic Acid. This stuff is also really great. It's another one that I've been using for a long time. I put way too much on this side. And then for my kind of like serum gel, I'm using this one by Tula. It's their Clear It Up Acne Clearing and Tone Correcting Gel. This one's actually almost gone. I don't know why I stopped using this. I think honestly, I just completely forgot about it. I have the tendency to do that, but I remember really liking it. So I need to get back into using it. Typically with my skincare, like when I'm just like off track, I do the basics like I'll just wash my face sometimes and not even like moisturize or anything like that So so when I actually remember to like do the rest of my skincare, it is a good day So I'm really trying to like get back on track and get back in the habit of um, Of doing my skincare. Okay, and then for my moisturizer, I'm using the first aid beauty ultra repair cream This is another one that I've literally been using for years 
and I will probably never change. This one's absolutely amazing. One thing I also want to say though, if you guys are watching this and like are trying to get back on track with me, I make these videos to like inspire you guys to like get back on track because I personally really like watching other people's videos on like getting back on track or eating healthier, what I eat in a days or Sunday reset routines. Um, I create a lot of the videos that I like to watch personally and I like to watch them because they inspire me to like get off my butt and like actually get things done. So that's kind of why I create this type of content. But like with that being said, I feel like I get so many comments and people are like, oh my gosh, like you're always so productive or, or like you must have motivation all the time. And I just want you guys to know that that is so not the case. Like my life is a mess. 95% of the time and most of the content that I film is meant to be like motivational and inspirational like my reset routines or you know stuff like that but the reality of life is that it's just messy and it doesn't look like that all the time so I like to talk about like things that I'm doing to get back on track just know that like you will never always be on track in life and I feel like it's super normal just like fall off track because you get busy with things life happens and sometimes you like can't do the full skincare routine and you can't wake up at 6 a.m. like that's just not realistic in life so if you're someone that watches these videos and is like oh my gosh I could never do that or you feel like I don't know maybe like bad or you just feel like less than because you don't do those things every day don't because literally no one does this stuff every single day um, because that's just real life but I like to make content that is like motivating to you guys and inspirational to you guys that hopefully makes you want to become better versions of yourself as well but anyways just had to throw that out there I am using this Laura Mercier what is this Hydrating lip balm. I actually really like this stuff. They send it over in a PR package. It's actually really really nice I'm obsessed with lip balm because my lips are always so dry and Love a good lip balm. That is it pretty much for my skincare routine right now It is 9 41 on the dot So i'm gonna go ahead and get in bed have a nice early night and then that way I can wake up nice and early tomorrow But I hope that you guys enjoy this vlog kind of hanging out with me today and like getting everything back on track If you guys did enjoy this video, of course feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out If you're not already, thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys <laughs>